Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's class. This is Teacher Wesley here, and we see that some of you are ready and willing to participate in today's class. That's fantastic stuff. Just remember, folks, that if you have uh, Verbling Premium, you're able to enter the class a few minutes early. Guarantee yourself a seat. So uh, if we have any of those uh, premium uh, Verblingers out there, now's your chance. You can come on in if you'd like. For the rest of you, we'll just wait a couple minutes and we'll get you on to come on in. Today's going to be a, a really a fun class. Actually, it's going to be a conversation-based class, and we're going to uh, interview each other. We're going to ask questions uh, about each other, specifically dealing with animals and pets. We're going to talk about uh, the pets that we have, pets we've had in the past, and uh, our favorite animals and things like that. should be a good, fun class, an opportunity for you to practice the vocabulary you know, learn some new vocabulary, but also, and most importantly, really, <clears throat> these types of classes are excellent for helping you guys to know how to ask questions, how to form questions, and then how to respond and express your opinions. And something that I've uh, always believed in is that if you are able to ask good, proper questions and formulate questions the right way, you're able to speak uh, to just about anybody, really, because when we ask questions, then we're able to engage people in conversations. And for you who are learning English, a great way to learn it is to first learn how to ask questions, and then you can go out and practice your English on the street or at work or right here in the Verbling classroom. So once again, welcome to everybody. Let's just meet some of the students now. We have Karar. How are you doing, Karar? Hello, Karar. How are you today? Okay, no problem. We'll come back to Carrara. He's probably just getting signed in. Um, Andoni, how are you? Andoni. Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Uh, I'm doing well. Thanks very much for asking. Yeah. Uh, so, what time is it? Where you're at? Uh, it's 4 o'clock. Uh, in the morning or afternoon? No, in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Well, it's 6 o'clock here, so you're only two hours behind me. That's good. So did you go, did you have to go to work today? Did you go to school? What did you do? Uh, in fact, I am on a vacation because in Mexico, everyone is on, on vacation now. Uh, and now everyone is on vacation and I have not done anything. Oh, that sounds great. That sounds great. So how long is your vacation? Uh, it's two weeks, two weeks long. Two weeks. Wow, very nice, very nice. Okay, good. And uh, have you done anything exciting during your holidays? Okay, can you repeat that, please? Have you done anything exciting during your holidays? Uh, uh, so far, I've not done anything exciting, but uh, I, I'll go to the beach on Friday, so I think it is going to be exciting. Okay. Going to the beach on Friday. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Good stuff. And let's move along to uh, our next student. Let's go to. Let's see here. One of the others that came in early was Batty. Batty Luis. How are you? Hi, Batty. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. How, how are you doing? I'm doing well. What about you? I'm doing really good. Thanks very much. And what time is it where you're at? Here, 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Where are you at? Uh, Colombia. Oh, okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm in the Dominican Republic, so it's only... Uh, yeah, we're pretty, pretty close, really, relatively speaking. Yeah. Relatively speaking. <laughs> Okay, good. We're just going to welcome some of the other students here. Going to welcome Brandon Chavez. How you doing, Brandon? Hi, Brandon. Okay, we'll get back to Brandon here. Um, David, David Tromboni, how you doing? David Tromboni. 
Oh, he's gone. Gianluca, how you doing, Gianluca? Fine things, and you? Good, thank you, thank well, you. A little, a little frozen here. Frozen? Where are you living? Finland. In Finland? Yeah. What's the temperature in Finland today? Um, minus seven grades, or perhaps minus ten, I don't know. Wow, that's cold, man. That's cold. <laughs> yeah. Okay, how much snow do you have? I don't know. How much snow? How many feet? You got one foot, two feet? Uh, I suppose that 10 or 20, 20 feet. I don't know. 20 feet of snow? Yeah, because we we have a, a great a real um, snowstorm yesterday and today. Really? Uh, wow, 20 feet. That's a lot of snow. We are getting used to the snow. You're getting used to it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's adorable sometimes. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Well, okay, some, some of you students were complaining about a slow signal. Thank you. And I've just made some adjustments. Hopefully this will uh, make it a little better, okay? There we go. Let me know, guys, if it gets better, okay? Okay, good stuff. Uh, let's go along to Karar. Hi, Karar. Hi, teacher. Hey, how you doing? I'm pretty good. Good, good. So tell me, please, what is... Uh, what's new with you? Nothing else. It's just Nothing? classical day. Just a classic day? Yep. Okay, did you work? No, I'm a student. I'm sorry? I'm a student. Okay, okay, so you didn't have work today. Okay, good. Uh, what did you learn today? Uh, I learned English. J this year, just for learning English, because I finished my secondary school, and I will go to college after five months. Oh, okay, okay. Very good. And um, do you have any... Well, we'll save those questions. We'll save the questions for just a few minutes, okay? Welcome to the class. Happy to have you. Thank and we're going to get things underway here very shortly. Selma, how are you, Selma? I'm bad. You're, <laughs> Thank you you're bad. Asking. You're bad, Selma? <laughs> yes. Why are you yes, bad? <laughs> I Tell got a warning email from my supervisor. You got a warning today from your supervisor? Yes, to handle my thesis after two weeks. Oh, <laughs> and do you have your thesis ready? No, not yet. Not yet, uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why you're having a bad day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, boy, I see in your picture you're going, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's, okay, well... Maybe a good verbling chat will help you. It will boost your spirits and give you the energy you need to finish up. Yes, I hope so. What do you so. think? Okay, yes. we hope so. We hope so. We're happy to have you in the class. Okay? Yeah, thanks for coming. Thanks for coming. We'll have a good time. Don't worry. We'll make you forget all of your problems. Leave all your problems behind. <laughs> all right, let's move along to Ahmed. How are you, Ahmed? Ahmed is doing well. How are you, Wes? Good, thanks, man. Good, nice to see you. It's been a while. I've been away for a few days, but how you, how you been? Yeah, I was. Uh, I was looking for you. <laughs> yeah. you've, been, you've been waiting for me. Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's nice. It's nice to have such loyal uh, students. Thanks, guys. Thank you. <laughs> how is? Well, tell me, what have you been up to? Yeah, uh, I think it's okay. Um, a uh, friend of mine, uh, he got a uh, nice surgery two days ago. He's I fine now. He's at home. I should look after him. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, that's why. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. That was nice of you, yeah. Okay. So what kind of surgery? Was it Was it serious surgery or what? Or do you, can you share it or do you prefer not to tell? No, no, it's okay. I don't know exactly what happened to him. Um, uh, his uh, left eye. Uh, he said... Uh, uh, Sometimes I see, I can't see, or 
by using my uh, left uh, eye. So he got an appointment. Uh, okay. Yeah. So he did that. He got that surgery. So he's fine now, but uh, uh, still uh, feel headache something like that. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. But he's okay. fine. He's fine. I think. Okay. Well, it's nice that you were able to make time for us today, and uh, we'll have a good time. Yeah, he, 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 he's already in bed, that's why. Uh, <laughs> so I can spend time. You, know? okay. you put him to bed. Well, yeah. tell him t tomorrow when he wakes up, tell him we all said hi. Okay, okay. I will. <laughs> all right, good stuff. <laughs> okay, Alexis. Hi, Alexis. Hi, how are you? Good, good. What's, uh, what's going on with you? Did you have a good day today? Yeah, I had. Um, I knew here. Um, I want to learn uh, more English. Good. I want to uh, teach. I want to teach you English. So we we have something in common. Okay. <laughs> Thank <Excellent>. you. <laughs> Good. Welcome to the class. Okay. Okay. And let's go to Andres. Hi, Andres. Hello. How are you, Network? Wes, right? That's right, Wes or Wesley. Either one's fine, man. Okay. Okay, good stuff. So, did you, did you go to school? Did you go to work today? What, uh, what was your day? I am a uh, military, Navy, military, Navy. Okay. You, 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 work for the mil you work in the military? In a ship, yes. Oh, you're on a ship right now? Uh huh. No, 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 no. Right now, not. In the morning, I, I work in a ship. During the morning. Oh, okay. I think people who work in the, on a ship are in the navy. I think. Uh huh. Yes. So, are you in the navy? Yes, I am in the navy. I'm from okay. Argentina. Okay. Have you ever heard the song that goes in the navy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. It, that 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 could be your song. Yes, people. Uh, people say people laugh on us on us with that. With that song, oh, uh, you, you, you call us uh, Popeye and well, that's uh, funny. Okay, <laughs> funny for them, not for me. No, you heard the song so many times, you're going, oh my goodness. You said, I I came on Verbling to get away from all those people, and then here I am saying it. So I apologize. <laughs> no, don't worry. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Well, everybody, I think that's everybody's been welcomed into the class, and I just want to tell you guys, I'm really happy that you all. Um, have taken time out of your day to come into the class. Just one thing I want to mention to each one of you is please close down all other uh, windows except for the Google Hangouts. Because what happens is I can sometimes hear myself coming through the, the headset and then that makes it really difficult to speak. And also what you want to do is you want to mute your microphone when you're not speaking. Okay, for example, Andres, right now I can hear myself okay. through your, through your uh, mic. Okay, so I've muted you, but if you could just mute yourself, I can still hear you. I still hear myself. <laughs> okay, I think we got it. So just keep that in mind, everybody, so it keeps the class moving quickly and we don't have any disturbances, okay? So as I mentioned, happy to have everybody here. Um, just to let everybody know that, uh, well, we'll get to that at the end, perhaps. But as I mentioned to you, this is going to be a conversation class. This is an opportunity for you guys to practice your speaking, interviewing each other. You can interview me. You can interview other students. You guys get to decide. And it's a good chance to practice your vocabulary, have a conversation, and learn how to ask good questions, OK? So here's the link we're going to be using for our, the basis of our questions. Today's conversation is going to be based on animals and pets, OK? Animals and pets. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, I'll start off, I'll start off by um, asking a few questions to you guys and then you guys get to take the floor and ask me and the other students questions, okay? So for example, let me start off here. Um, Ahmed. Yes. Have you ever ridden a horse? Uh, yeah, uh, just once uh, in my life. Just once? <laughs> just once, yeah. Was it a good experience or a bad experience? Uh, not really, uh, because uh, at that time I was uh, afraid, really, and uh, worried, yeah. 
if I can ride uh, on a horse or not. So I just, uh, yeah, ride on it maybe for uh, two minutes and <laughs> I stopped. Did you fall off the horse? No, 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 nothing happened. <laughs> okay, good, yeah, good. But I didn't uh, make it again. <laughs> yeah. Um, have you, what do you think about hunting? Do you think that hunting is, is okay? Mm -hmm. Hunting for animals? Mm -hmm. It depends. What, uh, I prefer fishing. Oh, you like fishing? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. Have Probably you, either. what's the yeah. biggest fish you've ever caught? <laughs> That's really big. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Five centimeters. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's funny. That's funny. Okay, good. Yeah, but but I, I still like fishing, really. Yeah? You still like fishing? Yeah. Yeah, I like fishing a lot, too. Um, okay, so there you go. That's an example, okay, guys? So just asking a few questions. Now, the idea is uh, you have ever caught... I'm just writing in the chat box my question so you guys can see it, and you can see how I'm, f I'm structuring the questions. All right, so everybody have the link in front of them for the list of questions? Yeah. Okay, good. Who would like to go first? Let's have, I'm going to choose because nobody volunteered. John Luca, you can go first, okay? Okay. 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 So you, you can ask anybody any question off from that list that you like. You have, you have, I'm going to give you about three or four minutes and I want you to ask as many students, as many different questions as possible, okay? Okay, the number one? Well, you can pick anything on that list. For example... And you gotta, but you gotta tell, which, you gotta say which student you wanna have answer the question. Ah, okay. Okay. This is the thing, you are the interviewer. Imagine yourself on television interviewing people. You're the interviewer and we are your interviewees, okay? Okay. Okay, go ahead. Okay, and with um, Elm, I don't know, it's correct? Sorry? Uh, um, Andres Elm. Okay, question is for Andres. Yes, tell me. Okay, uh, do you have a pet? Yes, uh, I have a, a cat. How do, how do you say a, a female cat? It's a, it, in fact, it's a, 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 how do you say a female, female cat? A female cat. Yes, a cat. Um, I don't know how you say a female cat. A male cat is called a tomcat. Uh -huh. But I don't know about a female cat. Uh, a cat. I have a cat here. She's sleeping right now. Oh. She what? calls uh, Olivia. Oh. Something. Uh, I don't know. What what are the pro the pros and cans to keeping a pet? Uh sorry, sorry, I couldn't hear you. What what are the pros and cans of keeping a pet? Good question. The pros and cons on what, sorry? Uh repeat again. What are the pros and cons of keeping a pet? Uh, the the pros is that she's a quite a calm animal. Uh, she's uh, she she don't eat uh, too much uh, too much food, and uh, it doesn't make too too much noise. And the the cons, I think, uh, she. Uh, she spread a lot of lots of hair. It says to be. Mm -hmm. uh, she doesn't she shed. Lose, she loses hair. She loses hair. Too much hair, and uh, this that would be one of the, the cons. Another cons would be that during the night when I want to sleep, she wants to play. So we we can we can arrange our chill <laughs> chill time. <laughs> Okay, that, I'm just going to interrupt for one second, John Luca, because I want to help Andres with a couple of things, two things, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, so Andres, in the chat box, I made just a couple of corrections. Um, uh, I, think, I think you said she doesn't eat too much food. 
or um, but you could also say she doesn't eat very much food. That would be the better way to say that. She doesn't eat very much food. Okay. 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 And she does not shed. If, if an animal is always giving off hair, or le you know, mm -hmm. the animal sits on the couch and then there's always hair, but that's called shedding. Okay. S H E D. So she doesn't shed very much hair. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Good. Uh, Jean Luc, continue. You got you got time for one more question, I think. Okay. 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 Um, do you think animals have souls? Huh? Do you think animals have souls? Who's Sorry, the question can you, to? Can, can you write uh, the, the question because I can't... Uh, do you think animals have uh, souls? Soul. Uh, what, a, what a difficult question. <laughs> uh, Interesting. Yeah, one. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. I don't think. I don't think that even us have souls. I, I don't know. It's a. It's a difficult topic to talk about. But uh, I mean souls to talk about souls. But I don't think they have souls. They're just. Mm. But uh, uh, animals, animals have feelings. Mom. Oh, sorry, sorry, I don't know why I can't hear you. Okay. Do you think animals have feelings? Yeah, yeah. Do you believe that animals have feelings? Uh, yes, I, I think they have feelings. Uh, I, I mean, they don't. They don't know what could be bad. Could, what think what could be good? I don't, I don't know how to explain it with with single words. <laughs> but yes, I, I think I think they have they have feelings such as uh, sadness. Uh, for instance, when I when once I left uh, for the sailing, uh, I realized she was sad because she she didn't. Uh, ate a lot of food, uh, too much food, and I realized she was, she was sad because, because of my absence. Okay, okay. She didn't eat very much food. Yes, I realized then. <laughs> okay. Okay, say it again. She didn't eat very much food. She didn't eat, she didn't eat very much food. Good, excellent. Good job. Okay, Jean-Luca, bravo. Well done. Everybody, let's give him a hand. Thank you very much. Well done. Nice interview. Nice interview, Andres. Good answering of the questions. Yeah, yeah. John Luca, those were some really good questions about uh, the animals have feelings, the animals have the soul. Well done. Okay, so who would like to go next? Me. Okay, Carrara, you can go next. Now, just one thing. You don't have to ask all the questions to one student. In fact, feel free to ask one question to one student, another question to another student, so everybody gets a chance to speak, okay? Yes. Okay. I'm, so going, I'm going to ask uh, Alexis. Okay. So, do you think that animals dream? Um, I, I don't see it so, because... Um, or um, I don't know really why the animal can be can dream, but it's difficult <laughs> the question. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I'll help maybe, you. Maybe I don't know. Do you want to change? Yeah. Try try another one. What was your what was the question again? I just said if you want to change the question. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Have you ever been to a horse race? Uh, yes. Uh, What's your feeling? What's your experiment there? It was very awesome because 
it was when I when I was eight years old. Um, I like it so much, and and so I always do it. I don't know how to say that. I I practice. Uh, okay, <laughs> my father have a farm, and she um, and he have a horse. Okay, my you can say my father has horses. All right, my father have horses. Um. When I go for them, for them, I practice. I I ride. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. So you could say I prac I practice horseback riding. All right. I practice horse. Okay. Can you repeat, please? Uh, yeah, I wrote it in the chat box. I practice or I go. Horseback riding. I practice when I go horseback riding. Okay, good, good. Horseback riding. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Next question. Well done. So now I'm going to ask uh, Ahmed um, what can people learn from animals? Uh, okay, actually. Um, I think that animals mm, are as similar as human beings or people. Um, we can, uh, I mean, we might uh, learn something from them and they might learn something from us as well. Let's see. Uh, uh, for example, if you um, look at uh, a dog, yeah? Um, yes. the, yeah. Mm. Uh, most people uh, think that um, dogs are loyal, so we can learn the loyalty from dogs. Right. For example, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Good. Yeah. So we got time for one more question. I'm going to ask uh, Andoni. Yes. What animals do you think are ugly? Ugly? Yes. Okay. Mm, I don't know. I, I think the uh, reptiles. Is it, is it right? Reptiles. Reptiles. Uh, Rep reptiles. Reptiles uh, are, are ugly, but there are some dogs, some breeds, breeds of dogs that are so big ugly. Uh, the big, the big ones, the big ones. Yes, What's from it? dogs. Okay, from from dogs. Yep. Uh, you mean the the most the ugly, ugly, the ugliest yes. dog, or what do you mean? The the big ones, dogs. Oh, the you you mean size? I don't know which name, but I think they are ugly. The big one, hmm, like a pit bull. Oh, okay, okay, I understand. Yeah, there are some kind of dogs that are so ugly. Uh, for example, here where I live, uh, there is a kind of dog. Uh, its name is Shoulder Squinkle, and it's a a, I, it's a dog with, without hair, um, and I think it looks very ugly. I think uh, its appearance is not so good looking. Yeah, that's true. I like that. Uh, just so everybody knows, ugly means not good looking. Okay. Yes, not not beautiful. Yeah, not, not wonderful. Beautiful. Good, good. Uh, not easy to look at. Sometimes if somebody if something is ugly you might say that it's hard on the eyes. It's yes, hard you can't on it. the eyes. You <laughs> can't stand it. Yeah, that's right. Yes. 
Okay, well done. Another nice job. Good interview. Woohoo! Thank you. Woohoo! Bravo, bravo. <laughs> Golf clap. Okay, so, anyways. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Did somebody say teacher? No, maybe he said cheers. Oh, cheers. Yeah, I cheers. Think, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good, good. All right. That was excellent. So we've got two down. We've got to keep the ball rolling, as they say. Let's give Selma a shot. Selma, your turn. Okay. <laughs> I do prefer someone to ask me because I cannot access to the link. My you internet can't is too access slow. Access the link. It's just a PDF file. All right, no problem. Yes, my internet is too slow. <laughs> okay, we will have somebody ask you some questions. Let's have um, Batty Luis. Okay. Okay, you're Hi. up, and may, maybe in one of your in one of your questions, at least one, uh, ask Selma uh, one of them. Okay. 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 Uh, Selma. Um... Yes. <laughs> what animal um, are you afraid of? Some animal or kin of animal? Wait, 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 wait! Before you oh. answer, wait, wait, wait! Just stop. Okay, okay. I'm gonna, I gotta help you with the question. Can you say the question again? Uh, are you afraid of some animal? Okay. Are you afraid of any animals? Not some animals. Okay. Okay. Try again. Are you afraid of any animals? Good. Yeah. Any animals? And because we're saying any, we want to say animals because it's kind of like a plural word. So, are you afraid of any animals with an S at the end? Okay? Okay. Okay, one more time. Are you afraid of any animals? Good. Yes, for sure. I feel so scared when I see the. Uh, uh, sir? Uh, Serpent, I think, and the in and dangerous insect. Uh, no, sorry. And of course, of, I got afraid when I see the lion, even if it is in its own cage. But I cannot uh, be. I cannot be closer to to the lion. Yes. Okay. So your first one was what? You're afraid of insects? Uh, no, no. It's not insects. It's uh. Uh, serpent. I I forgot its name. Snake. Scorpion. Snake says it's, uh, no, no, it's snake. Sorry. Scorpion. I, I spelled in French. Oh. Sorry. It sounded like you said I'm afraid of cell phones. <laughs> no, I said serpent. No, I'm afraid of the uh, iPhone. Something yeah. like Spanish. Uh, serpent. Yeah, serpiente. Yeah. Serpiente. Uh -huh. <laughs> serpiente. Snake. Snake. Yeah. Snake. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And cell phones too. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Continue with your your questions, Patty. Okay. Uh, this one is for uh, who is next to uh, Carrar? Carrar, Carrar. Uh, can you hear me? Carrar. Carrar. Yes, I hear you. I'm with you. Okay. Um, do you have pets? Uh, if you have, how do you choose the the name of your pet? Okay. One thing. One thing. Do you have any pets? This is what you want to say, my friend. Okay. I guess. I'm, remember, you're asking the questions, but I want to make sure I help you guys and uh, make good questions. So, do you have any pets? Okay. Yes. Go ahead, ask it again. Do you have any pets? Well done. Yes, uh, I have uh, some canaries, uh, and they are look very, very m m marvelous and pleasant. When and I choose them uh, for m many reasons. The radical reasons, their sounds is really enjoyable and m marvelous, and uh, their look. Is wonderful. Uh, you you feel comfortable and happiness when you look on them. What, what did you say they were? They were. What did you say they, they are? They are canaries. 
canary, oh, they are birds. Yes, birds. We 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 say they are canaries uh, in Arabic. Okay, fantastic. Mm. Now, one thing I wanted to help you with is you said I choose them. Okay, but what is the past tense of choose? Anybody know? Choose. It's just uh, we uh, we will we will rem remove uh, the the letter O. Right. Okay. So instead of saying I choose them because they're marvelous, you say I, I chose. chose them. Yeah. Yes, good. I chose. Yes. Excellent. Good job. Good job. Okay. Buddy, continue. Okay. Um, who haven't participated? Okay. This is for you, West. Uh oh. Uh, have you had any? <laughs> That's your turn. Have you had oh. any funny experience with uh, some animal or some pet? Uh, yes, I actually have two dogs, and I have many funny experiences with my dogs. Um, one of the funny experiences with my dogs is that, uh, well, I have to think here, actually. This is many things. Well, my one dog, she's really kind of humorous, because what she does is she, if I go up and scare her, I try and go up behind her and I try and scare her. And when I scare her, she doesn't like to be scared. She gets really like embarrassed that I got her. And so then when I tur when she turns around, she's like, she you can tell she's all embarrassed that I got her because she freaks out. And then she like turns around and she's like, oh, he got me. And she gets all embarrassed. And her ears go back. It's kind of funny because you don't think an animal would get embarrassed, but she seems to get embarrassed. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, other one or other person? Um. Whatever you like, whatever you like. You got probably time for one more question. Uh, okay. Um, this is for. Uh, I don't. Uh, Andres. Uh, if you could have um, a wild animal for pet, uh, what animal would you choose? Uh, first, first of all, I, I would never uh, would keep a wild animal. But if I would. Uh, I think that uh, a lion. <laughs> I think that a lion. Why? I, because I love cats, and this is the wild. wild so do animal. I. <laughs> so I think that is the wildest animal in the, the world. I, I mean, talking about cats, right? Uh, how do you say felines? Feline? I had to say felines. Felines. Feline. Mm -hmm. I Good. think I would choose that. Excellent. Did that answer your question? Again. Okay. Yeah. Bravo. Well done. Okay, bravo. Golf clap. Good job. Good job. Nice job, Batty. And that was a good question. Also, that was a good use of the word feline. My, my goodness, that was fantastic, Andres. Okay. Now, we want to give Aladdin. Poor Aladdin has been sitting here patiently. We want to give him a try at some of the questions. Okay, Aladdin, so you're next. Are you ready? Aladdin says he speaks only a little bit of English. That's okay, Aladdin. You can read. You can read, right? All you have to do is read the question. Aladdin is not speaking. Okay. Well, maybe we won't be able to get Aladdin then. Who else would like to go next? We can come back to Aladdin in a moment. Okay. Ahmed can go next. Okay. Go ahead, Ahmed. Okay. Uh, this question for uh, Gianluca. Gianluca. Yeah. 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 Can you hear me? Yes. Very well. So, okay. Uh, this question for you. Mm. Oh, one second, one second. Yeah. This this question is for is you. For you. you. Yeah. Good. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what animals do you think are cute? Good question. Are cute are uh, cats, dogs, and mouses. Uh -huh. Mice, mice, mouse, mouse. Mice. Mice. Okay, mice is the is the plural term. Mouse is singular. Ah, mice, mice. Okay, what else? Something else? 
Oh, sometimes the turtles, fishes, um, the lions. When, uh -huh. of course, when the lions are sleeping, they are so ad adorable and cute. Okay, great, great, nice. Okay, the second question for... Uh, can Aladdin uh, answer or not? Well, he hasn't, he hasn't been talking, but... Um, yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. You can try him, you can try him. Aladdin, are you there? Oh, I was calling him Aladdin, but it's Al uh, Aladdin. Okay. No, no, in, in Arabic, maybe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm pronouncing oh, well, Arabic. Well, I just yeah. knew, I knew there was that Disney movie called Aladdin, yeah. so I... Yeah, yeah he's a character. The prince, yeah. the prince of Arabia? Yeah, the Prince of Arabia, right. Okay, Arabia. well... But, Ahmed, you have the good pronunciation, so I thank you for correcting <laughs> Not really. <laughs> okay, then. Uh, we, go, we will go uh, to Andoni. Andoni, can yeah. you hear me? Yeah, yes, I can. Yes, okay. This question is for you. Um, why do some people not like pets? Because it means a lot of money sometimes. Because uh, when you have pets, you have to be conscious that you, you're you going to have some responsibilities. And it is going to... Sometimes uh, when you have a pet, you think it is like a, like a game, but it is not true because when you have a pet, you must have uh, you must have the enough time uh, to be with them, and and I think it is a very big responsibility because uh, you have to buy uh, uh, food for for the pet that you have, and uh, you have to uh, you have to spend a little. Uh, a little of time with them, because I know I know some people who have uh, dogs, and they they leave their dogs at home, and they are always working, and they leave their dogs at home, and they never see them. So I think it is it is very it it means a responsibility. Uh, okay, Anthony, uh, how about you? Um, are you into pets or not? Uh, 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 yes, I, I really like pets. I, I think uh, uh, I, ha I have three dogs, uh, pit bull dogs, and I really like I really like to have pets. I think it is uh, when I, when I when I see them, I don't know. I I the dogs freak me out. It's something like um, I like a lot. I like dogs a lot. Okay. Especially pitbull, pitbull dogs. Okay, cool. Uh, one more question, Wes, or mm -hmm. sure, one more. Uh, okay, one more. Uh, this question is for Badi. Badi, are you yeah. there? Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I will ask you. Um, does feeding an animal bring you happiness? Uh well, yeah, because. It's my pet, or the animal. The animal will be happy, then I will be happy too. How do you know that uh, the animal is happy or not? Okay, for example, with a dog, uh, the dog start to move uh, the, his tail, uh, and then it means that it's happy. Or the cat, the car is start to. I don't know how to say in English. Uh -huh. and to that jump, means to that jump it's happy. maybe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. So each animal has something like signals, and they are uh, they show you you uh, his love, their love. Then you can know when yeah. they are happy. Okay, interesting. <laughs> Thank you. Well done, fantastic. Applauso. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> okay, good stuff. Golf clap. All right. Well done. Now we've got we got time for still a few more actually. So who hasn't gone yet? Alexis, have you gone? No, uh, me, I'm going. Okay, Alexis has to go, and who else has to go? Selma still has to go. Um, I'm going to ask for Selma. Yes, Alexis. Uh, what animal do you think is the funniest? Actually, for me, the best and funniest animal is 
My cat? Yeah. Yes. Why? <laughs> Why? Okay, because my, uh, I feel like my cat is always doing uh, funny gestures or funny movements. For instance, when you uh, try to sing, she always comes uh, she always comes to you and tries to sleep with you. Uh, sometimes she, uh, mm, let me think of what she did lately. Yes, she uh, she goes upstairs and then she uh, starts uh, meowing. And it, it's, it was like uh, it's a signal to tell me to follow her and to play with her uh, upstairs. Mm. Actually, no, I don't. I cannot think uh, of anything right now because she always giving me or showing us new shows and new shows. She's always giving you what? New, uh, new funny shows. She's giving you. She gives you shows. Uh, yes. Oh, somebody, somebody's well, like, somebody has to uh, mute their microphone. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, my next question is for. Good Luis. job, Sama. For who? Uh, have you ever been on a Zoom? Who? For, for who? Who? Who is the question for? Luis. Uh, Buddy. Buddy Luis. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, in a Zoom. Uh, yeah. In yeah. A, uh, oh, when I wait, wait, wait one second. Wait one second. I'm gonna help you guys. Both of you need a little help with the pronunciation, okay? Oh. Um, it's z, zoo, with a z sound. Z, z, zoo. Have you ever been to a zoo? Have you ever been to a zoo? Zoo. Good. Good. Uh, well, yeah, when I was younger, um, or maybe when I have to take my niece or my nephew nephew to the, to the zoo, then I go there. Uh, yeah. um, what is your favorite pet? My favorite pet? Uh, the cat. All right. Uh, the cat because I don't have to I don't have to uh, clean it because they they uh, with their tongue tongue they clean their themselves um, yeah they are more independent than the dogs or whatever other animal okay more uh, they clean they clean themselves themselves with an s at the end Okay. And they are more independent. More okay. independent. Okay, good. Yeah, excellent. Continue. Um, it's all. That's all? Do you want to ask one more? Um, can I do? There's time for one more. Yeah, sure. Um, this is for Hannah. Uh, have you ever been to a to a farm? Yes, actually, we do have a farm, and we have lots of animals that we spend time with. And last week, I was in the farm playing with small ships. So yes. All right. Uh, okay, nicely done. Nicely done. Well done, Alexis. Applause for Alexis. Golf clap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Good. Now, everybody, I must apologize because my camera. Uh, I don't know what's gone happened here. I put myself on, uh, like I put my camera to my picture for one second, and then I put it back, and it and it won't go back. So you guys have to stare at my picture. It's okay now. We can see you. You can see me. Yes. Yes. Oh, I, 
I can't see myself. That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Well, yeah, anyways. You and, and, the, and the, the shadow behind you. Ah, there's a shadow. <laughs> scary stuff. Is it shadow or ghost? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All right. So, Selma, your turn. Did you get the. Okay, my. Yeah, you can ask. Uh, you've got a couple of minutes, okay? Go ahead. Uh, okay, so, um, my first question would be for uh, for Andres. Andres, uh, you're uh, Yes, uh, because you have the cat, this is why I've chosen you. So tell me, how do you feel when you are around your cat? Well, <laughs> I think she's me. <laughs> no, no, it wasn't me. It was Wes. Well. <laughs> the, I, I forgot the question. Can you, can you repeat it? <laughs> Please, okay, I'm Wes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, what feelings do you get when you are with your cat? What feeling I have toward my cat, you, you say? Yes, when you are with your cat, which kind of feeling do you have? Uh, oh, okay, let, let, let me help you. Uh, you would say, what yes. feeling do you get? What feeling or feelings do you get when you are with your cat? Um, so? Exactly. Uh, can, can you see my, my video? Yes, or, or just my picture? Uh, maybe somebody else can answer because, to be honest, uh, all I can see is my own face and not, nothing else. I think I'm having some troubles, but I, I'm not going to do anything because we're still I'm still able to teach the class, but I can't see anybody. Yeah, Andres, I can see you. I can see you. Just a minute. I can see you. Okay. This is my cat. <laughs> well, I love her. Oh. <laughs> this kind my cat. of cat do you so have? I love. Her. I don't have kids, but I behave. I behave with her. No, how do you say? Uh, I take care of her as if she was my my daughter. <laughs> is she a Persian cat? Is she? Is a yes? It's a cat. Too. Pussy could be. I know how to say cat. He made cat. I think it's and pussy. Ah, uh, pussy cat. Pussy yeah, cat. Yeah, my teacher, my teacher said that it was a pussy. <laughs> it sounds uh. like. It. Yeah, you say you can say a you can say a pussy cat, but it's not very common now. We say pussy cat, but you can say it. Yeah, what well, tomcat? Tomcat is for a, is a male cat. Okay. Well, no. Uh, uh, if you have to answer your question is that I, I love her. I love her like a daughter. But this is daughter. That's very nice. That's very nice. Okay, so my next question. Um, next question would be for uh, Buddy Louis. Uh, okay. Uh, do you let uh, your cat or your pet sleep on the hammock? If I let what? My pet what? Your pet sleep on your own hammock? Hammock, sorry. Sleep on your hammock. Ah, oh, do you let your pet ah. sleep on your hammock? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, good, good question. Yeah. All the pets, it said the parrot of my grandmother. Um, Ahmed doesn't know what a hammock is. Can somebody explain to him what a hammock is? Can you see my, my photo where I am? <laughs> yeah. Sure that's a yeah. Oh, it is. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay, one, one more question for you there, uh, Salma. Uh, um, my question would be for Alexis. Yeah. Uh, does your wife uh, have problems with your own pets? Can you repeat, please? 
Does your wife have problems with your own tests? <laughs> I don't got uh, the question. Does your wife have problems with your yeah. pets? Um, I don't have pets right now. And so my wife is happy. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Thank you. That's a good that, that's a good question though. Because sometimes uh when you're married, sometimes when you're married or maybe you meet somebody and maybe they don't like your pet and then you have to decide, okay, now am I gonna yeah. is the pet gonna go or is the girlfriend gonna go? <laughs> right? Okay, what do you guys think? Now that do you guys think that, um, well, I guess that's maybe a silly question, actually. But let's finish up. Okay, you can one. say it. It is okay. <laughs> well, be, I was going to say, what do you guys think about people who treat pets like, ant, like, like, uh, like they're human beings? Do you think that's okay? Do you think it's out of balance? What do you guys think? No, I think mm. it, is, it is not okay for me. I think no? there must be a limit. Limit. Okay. What's the limit, Andres? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I know people who treat them like, uh, like if they were treat treat them like they were themselves. I'm, I think I'm a mess, a mess <laughs> with my words. Uh, I, I don't know. The limit is uh, not, for instance, not to let them eat in a. In the dinner room, in the dinner, in the table where okay, everybody so, eats. Yeah. Don't let them eat at at the dinner at, table. Yeah, for instance, or drinking the, the same glass of water. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. How, I think yeah. those are things for yeah. or humans. <laughs> I think. I think. I agree with you. I agree with you. Anybody else got another opinion? Actually, I don't agree with you Ooh. because I think <laughs> because I think that animals uh, are like us as human beings, but they do not have only brains, so they do not differ from us that much. So they need uh, to have a special treatment as we do. Animals yeah. are always faithful, and you always uh, find them in hard times. For instance, when you are crying. The uh, the animal comes to you and uh, starts uh, doing some sounds and uh, sitting with you. It's like when you see someone sitting with you in hard or difficult times. It's uh, it would be enough without saying any words because nowadays people do not have time for you, especially with the advancement of technology. People are uh, are just becoming more and more busy. Oh so, yes. Yeah. No, I agree with you. I think that's a nice comment. I agree. Animals are always loyal and always there for you when you need them. Isn't that true? Yes. Yeah, always. that's really nice. Very nice. Not always. Sometimes a cat, I mean, a tom Well, a cat, a cat's pretty cat, independent. Yeah, find, uh, for example, uh, the, <laughs> the tom cat, find another uh, pussy cat. He will go there and he will leave it. He, he, he will leave you alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, well, folks, I really hate to end the class because we're having a really good conversation, but our time is just, it's up. It's, there's no more time, and I do apologize for that. But uh, what did everybody think? Did we like today's discussion? Yes. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Okay, excellent, excellent. I'm glad that everybody uh, found it useful. And we'll do that. We're going to do this from time to time. These questions for conversation. We're going to have different themes and the and and give you guys the chance to practice your speaking and practice expressing your opinions, getting to know your fellow students and learning uh, some extra vocabulary. So that was good. So everybody, if you enjoyed the class or even if you didn't enjoy the class, please go to my Facebook page. Leave me some feedback. I want to hear what you guys thought. I liked your suggestions. So give me some suggestions if you have any. And uh, we'll talk to you guys very soon. I have another class starting right now. So if you want to join the next class, come on in. We'll uh, be happy to see you, okay? Until then, okay. take care. Have a good one.
Bye bye.